Hello, this is JR News Report in English. Immunization against highly contagious animal disease throughout Mongolia will begin on the 18th of April. Today, the pandemic has received 1.3 tons of vaccine needed for its entire herd of cats. A head of veterinary department in Dornot, Chaya Shma, said that the vaccination against BSC will begin after the end of the FMD. Vaccination against highly contagious foot and mouth disease will start on April 18 in Mongolia. Order A-77 was given by the director of the General Veterinary Agency. So far, our veterinary department has received 697,000 doses, or 1.3 tons of vaccine required for the entire herd. The vaccine will be given to all cattle in the province starting April 18 at shock dose. Where is the vaccine from? The vaccine is produced in Russia. We get it every year. In Darnot Amok, immunization against mad cow disease will begin after VMD vaccination. The vaccine is also produced in Russia and delivered to the General Veterinary Service. There are four zones in the AMAG. VMD quarantine is being implemented in Bolang, Bayin Tumun, Chobasang, and Halkol. We will get it soon. All herders are warned that livestock movement is prohibited because of the VMD vaccination. No movement of the animals during the vaccination. Once the spread of the infection is complete, the animals will be moved. Therefore, I would like to advise the people to follow the recommendation and decision of the veterinary organization. We are also making a survey of livestock coming from the author. All Mongolian cattle will be vaccinated against VMD. Currently, the regimen against FMD is banned in Bozhang, Baintumang, Chosung, and Hasqol Soms. It will run during the FMD immunization campaign, which begins on the 18th of April and will continue until the infection is complete. The Regional Diagnostic Treatment Center in Dornademic has announced the occupational safety, hygiene, and responsibility as a target year in its 2022 plan. Within the framework of this work, trainers from the Labor Training Research Center of CMTU visited the hospital and organized a training to provide knowledge and information on the legal environment of uh, occupation safety and hygiene. Our hospital has announced 2012 as the target year for occupational safety, health and responsibility. The Ministry of Health has also announced a year to improve the quality and safety of medical care. In addition to the quality of care, we have an additional responsibility to ensure that occupational safety and health are equal. April has been announced as Occupational Safety and Health Month. As part of this target year, we are launching employer training. In the future, there will be a step-by-step -step action plan for this year such as staff training and an intensified action plan for the monthly campaign. We are working to improve the occupational safety and health system so that employers can understand the legal environment. In the future, we will continue to work throughout the year to improve the working environment, staff health, and the safety issues. As part of this monthly campaign, we plan to do a lot of things in the short term of time. At the request of Donatamuk Trade Union, I'm pleased to be in Donatamuk as part of the Occupational Safety and Health Month campaign and to conduct a two-day training to educate active members of the Donatamuk. Today, by the order of the Trade Union Committee of the Regional Diagnostic Center, we are organizing training on occupational safety, health, and legislation for all managers of the regional diagnostic center and their employers. Funding for occupational safety and health in Mongolia is unclear. There may also be a shortage of full-time employees in the field of occupational safety and health at kindergartens and public institutions. This month's campaign needs to provide 
better funding for occupational safety and health. It is possible to implement other methods of employee protection if the necessary funding for safety is provided. This is because uh, there is a tendency for budget organizations not to reduce their budget below the legal norm due to insufficient budgets and shift to austerity mode. There is also a norm for hiring safety workers. This norm must be followed by an occupational safety officer. It is mandatory to work part-time and other part-time. These people need to be rewarded, paid, and given the opportunity to do their jobs. I would also like to urge budget and budget approving organizations to pay attention. The employer has done a good job of approving the rules and regulations for establishing a council on occupational safety and health. The Regional Diagnostic and Treatment Center has a joint committee. Occupational safety and health can be regulated by request of the committee even in a collective agreement. Experience has shown that in a collective agreements, trade union committees have included provisions to protect the interest of workers. There are places that don't know the law at all, don't enforce it, and don't have a collective agreement. In Darnodamag, however, the interests of employees are protected by collective bargaining. As part of the target year, the original Diagnostic Treatment Center launched a campaign in April to improve the occupational safety and hygiene management system and the work environment and risk and safety management. Multi-sport competition among commercial banks are traditionally held every year, but in recent years they haven't been held due to the pandemic. Today, Hasbank is holding basketball, volleyball, darts competition under the motto, Let's Love the Earth, among commercial banks. More than 280 employees from five commercial banks participated in the competition. The peculiarity of this year's competition is that, in that accordance with the motto, the participants refused to use plastic bottles of water and came with their own bottles of water. The organizer bank provided the participants with the big bottle of water. <laughs> This competition has been organized for 18 years. We wanted to show what opportunities there are to protect the earth. If you look carefully, there is no fresh water tank in this gym. Everyone brings bottled water and uses it in their own water bottle. This will prevent the dumping of plastic containers that are harmful to the environment. It is economical. A 19-liter bottle of fresh water is equivalent to 38 bottles of water in a 500-gram bottle. Economically, a 500-gram bottle of water costs 1,000 Mongolian Tugruk. 38 pieces of water costs 38,000 Mongolian Tugruk. We buy this water for 5,000 Mongolian Tugruk. Therefore, we want other organizations to implement our activities. On the off-bank employees' day, a variety of sports competitions are being organized among all banks in Dornotamuk. These competitions include basketball, volleyball, and darts. For the last two years, it has not been organized due to COVID. More than 280 employees of the banking sector are participating in the competition. More than 80% of our bank's employees are young people. Multi-sport competitions are organized to support public sports. The bank also initiated a bicycle club among the bank workers. I ride a bike every 14 days. In winter, there is a snow and ice festival. There are many kinds of competitions like this. There will also be a career competition for all employees to celebrate Bank Employees Day. Multi-sport competitions provide all the opportunities for youth development. 90% of the Dornot Bank's employees are the youth. In order to spend their free time properly, improve their teamwork and uh, support their physical education, they organize sports competition and establish a cycling club among the employees. 
they sometimes go cycling and hiking every 14 days. Within the framework AMGS governance degree number A89 of 2022, organizing intensive training and activities for general entrance exam 2022, review lessons for the general entrance exam for 12th grade students of a secondary school have been taught in class. This year, 835 students are graduating from the 12th grade of secondary school in Dornot. It has been a long time since the general entrance exam intensive training was organized. It has been a long time since the implementation of the project to organize intensive training with the support of the AMOC budget to reward the best students and to reward the teachers and professional groups who have prepared the successful students. Every year, our teachers and students continue to succeed in organizing intensive training with the support of the AMOC governor, the AMOC citizens, representative world, and the AMOC's local government. AMOC governor's decree on uh, 38 of 2012 provides for a total of 21 million Mongolian Tugruk to support the organization of intensive training for the general enrollment exam. Within the framework of the intensive training, a series of trainings were organized for all teachers by facilitator trainers on how to organize trainings, learn from each other's experiences and what content, and how to organize classes for students graduating from the 12th grade. Since the start of this project, more than 560 teachers and 3,505 students have been trained. In 2020, seven students were tested with eight 100 points in five subjects in the AMAC. In addition, nine subjects improved the average quality of the previous year and ranked first in the chemistry, second in biology, and third in Mongolian language and social studies. In January 2021, an online test was conducted for the 12th grade graduates. An explanation of this test has been posted in General Enrollment Exam 2012 group. Professional teachers have posted on the website advice on what to focus on in the study and how to organize further training. The next test was called the extra test in March. According to the result of this inspection, it was lower than previous one because of lack of experience working on answer sheets. It has been five years since the implementation of intensive training project for the general entrance. A total of 21 million togrus has been budgeted from the AMC's budget to support to organize intensive training, reward outstanding students and teachers who are successful in the general entrance exam. In order to ensure traffic safety around school and kindergarten, the school and kindergarten zone project has been implementing every year since 2015. Within the framework of the project in 2022, with the investment of the AMGAS local department fund, it was planned to build parking outside the 4th and 18th kindergarten in Dornot AMG. In order to ensure the safety of the school and kindergarten environment, the school and kindergarten zone project has been organized in stage in since 2015. Within the framework of this project in 2012, a parking lot will be built outside the newly built 4 and 18th kindergarten. As part of this work and helping road to Kindergarten number four will be built and six to eight parking lots will be built outside the kindergarten. Outside the kindergarten number 18, a suitable parking lot for 16 cars will be built. Tender announced that these parking lots cost a total of 6 million Mongolian to work. As a part of the work, a tender has been announced to select a conductor to build an auxiliary lane connected to the main road, a parking outside kindergarten number 4 and 18. The implementation of this work will ensure traffic safety around the kindergarten and improve the environment by reducing environmental pollution and the dust.
It is planned to establish a doctor development center at the regional diagnostic treatment center with the investment of uh, 34.8 million tokus from the AMGS local department fund. Last year, 24.2 million equipments were supplied to establish a doctor development center. And then when the new building of public health center is commissioned, the doctor development center is planned to commissioned. The Medical Development Center is a project implemented by the Regional Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Thus, it is planned to establish a doctor development center in the Amex Regional Diagnostic and Treatment Center with an investment of 34.8 million Mongolian Turk from the Amex Local Development Fund. Last year, the Health Department investment 24.8 2 million Mongolian Turk in the establishment of a doctor development center in the health department and a public health center. When a new public health center is established, a doctor development center next to the public health center is ready to be used. The importance of increasing the number of medical development centers from year to year is that the center will train and empower medical professionals in the workplace create favorable environment for them to study and increase the quality and availability of medical services. The establishment of the center will make doctors and medical professions comfortable to study and develop in the workplace, which will have the positive impacts on the quality of medical care. The project supporting local famous in livestock breeding, sustainable economic development adaptation to climate change will be implemented in Bain of Dornodamek from this month to November. The project was initiated by the Center for Environmental and Agricultural Research in Northeast Asia and supported by the Ministry of Nature, Environment and Tourism and funded by the Climate Change technology center and network of uh, United Nations with uh, $200,000. Personally, I'm really happy because I have been living on the western shore of Shadow Lake in Bainthamus, some of Darnatamuk for nine years. Based on what we have seen and studied during this time, we have written a project with the United Nations, the Environment Foundation and Technology Foundation. The project was selected from more than 100 countries. What will be done to establish an intensive farm in the East while COVID is still being discussed online? On this basis, a tender was announced by the United Nations and a team called Alina is working with us. Because we are on our land, the owning right will be ours. We have the right to speak as the initiator of the project. When it comes out, it is worth it. It's enough to invest in a foreign bank in any country in the world. Its baseline studies include gender, livestock, climate change, children's education, herders' open education, and lifelong learning. All this will be done comprehensively. <laughs> Climate change is one of the key issues in our project. In other words, the project is funded by the United Nations Climate Technology Foundation Network. So as you know, one of the problems facing the world is climate change. In recent years, we have begun to talk specifically about the effects of climate change, which we seem to know, but we don't know, and how our lives affect the development of the country the development of the region and development of the world. In this context, there is the Paris Agreement, which was joined by 190 countries in 2015. Joined this agreement. Under the agreement, the countries around the world are working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change. Mongolia is committed to contributing to global challenges in reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the agricultural, energy, and construction sectors, as well as its obligations under international agreements and conventions. The project will include community-based 
climate change, vulnerability assessment, gender assessment, identification of possible ways of pasture management adapted to climate change and development of a local meat processing business model. A capacity building training for agriculture department specialists in this summer was held. The training was co-organized by the AMEX Governor's Office, AMEX Agriculture Department, some agriculture departments and international funded programs and related government agencies. The capacity building training was organized to review the activities of the agricultural department last year to discuss implementation to be fulfilled in 2022 with the funding of state and local projects and program to discuss cooperation and to approve the plan. Today we are organizing capacity building training for some specialists who are responsible for implementing the food, agriculture and light industry policy at the initial stage. Today's event should be attended by 42 specialists from 14 summits, of which 28 are working. In addition to providing some specialists with up-to-date information on the sector, they also provide information related to local projects of the international organizations and loans from the Bank of Mongolia to support local agricultural loans. Also, how will some specialists participate in the land management plan? What are their responsibilities and how will they ensure its implementation? It is planned to provide information in this regard. The government of Mongolia's Vision 2050 long-term program introduces its medium-term implementation and preventation policy. How will SOMS monitor investment activities and what will be the role of observers? How to increase and continue to use it provides information on capacity of building. Also have to provide information to herders and have to properly plan and organize local programs, projects, policies and activities. The main purpose of today's training is to provide information on this year. Total of 36,400 crops will be planted in the agriculture sector. There are 3 million 51 head of livestock and 8,600 herders in the livestock sector. There are about 1,600 manufacturers in the manufacturing sector. By building the capacity of our specialists, the manufacturers working in the sector will be empowered. So we want to talk about us. Introduce the newly approved and current regulation. Introduce the policies and programs implemented by the government and how will the SOM implement them locally. It's getting information about. This year, a number of works will be implemented in our SOM with the state AMAC SOM local investment. Market and pasture management, fodder storage, wagon area irrigation systems, small animal baths, and cellar maintenance will be carried out. The SOM plans to drill six deep wells with local budget investment. Livestock tax have provided significant investment in the agricultural sector. In addition, funding was provided to improve the quality of goat cashmer in the SOM. Investments have been made in the insemination of inseminator. <laughs> Last year, a major project in the Department of Agriculture was the construction of a sales point with a budget of 120 million Mongolian to work from the market and pasture management project. In 2012, the SOM budget includes a local livestock tax to disinfect all livestock fences in the SOM. The sterilization machine was budgeted for 40 million Mongolian to work. A tender was announced and the UV sterilization compound was selected. An agreement is being made. A herder workshop is planned. The herders meeting is scheduled for June. Pasture land management project is planning to build well in Don de Hodak, Hartzat Bag. At the end of the training, which provided methodological advice and information to empower agricultural specialists, the departments that worked hard and were successful last year were awarded. The Profession Advertising Day event 
by a vocational training and production center lasted for a month and closed today. The closing ceremony was attended by Governor of Dorna Demek and Badam Surung, Chairman of uh, Policy Committees of uh, Citizens' Representative Conference, heads of all AMCs of Hirsinsum, all school principal and employers. As the part of the Professional Advertising Day campaign, more than 700 Sprite and high school students and 11 bucks were briefed on school closure. Many students and unemployed people have registered to study at our school. Registration for the next year is being done. It was important to provide the public with the new information about the Dernot Vocational Training Center. In particular, I would like to thank the media for promoting the opportunities for the unemployed to find employment, for the unemployed to take off secondary professions, to change professions, and to increase employment through their professions. In addition to promoting the school, it is important to make the public aware of the opportunities available to citizens to create more jobs. As part of the Vocational Training Center's monthly campaign, more than 60 people aged to 18 to 38 involved in the Vocational Training Center's campaign. 11 of them decided to study. In 2006, I graduated from the Vocational Training Center of Food and Bakery with a 1.5-year degree. I'm happy to participate in this activity for 18 years since I graduated. Many thanks to the school administration and the staff to kindergarten number 15 for their support. I'm happy to participate in the event to share what I have learned with the students and youth of Donut. What should the food be like? I'm happy to show you what a chef should look like. Cooking is an art. Person with a heart becomes a cook. I want to tell students to cook with all their heart. I want to say that a person with a heart succeeds. <laughs> As part of the monthly campaign, 26 uh, types of cognitive and skill competitions were organized. In addition, more than 20 monthly activities such as student art exhibition and fashion show have been organized. Since 2012, Mongolia has been organizing an annual Occupation Safety and Hygiene Mount campaign. This year, we are organizing a nationwide campaign to prevent uh, occupational accidents and disease and to raise awareness of occupational safety and hygiene among citizens and the public. The opening ceremony was uh, attended by Ishiol, Deputy Governor of uh, AMEC, Chairman of uh, Occupational Safety and Hygiene Subcouncil, and officials of uh, relevant agencies. Occupational safety is an integral part of labor relations. Although this relationship has been legalized in our country since 2008 and the legal environment has been improved, it is noteworthy there are not many industrial accidents. In particular, mining, energy, and industrial accidents have not decreased. This issue is also related to herders the self-employed, small and medium enterprises, and the light industry. The main goal of this campaign is to prevent accidents, detect risky early, and create conditions for healthy and safe environment. Regular health checkups of any organizations, office, and or employee, providing them with the health education, such as healthy living and working, is one of our top priorities. <laughs> Our organization made educational activities within the framework of the law on occupational safety and health and a revised version of the labor law. Our organization made pre-questionary activities before the risk arises. 
In addition, in accordance with the plan issued by the AMA Council for Occupational Safety and Health, we are working with other professional organizations to organize public consultations and information. As part of today's campaign, our organizations received 61 vacancies from 21 companies. We are organizing this event to introduce this to our citizens to provide job seekers with jobs, to introduce our ongoing programs and projects, and to provide updated information on labor law. Darnot Amic Polytechnic College has been implementing the International Occupational Safety and Health Management System, or ISO 450008 standard since 2017. For the last three years, it has been audited by the Indian Occupational Safety and Health Organization's ICO for three consecutive years. This culture will remain in the school. The school organizes training for labor, safety, and hygiene staff. It is authorized by the Occupational Health Center. The school organizes such as activities not only in mining, but also in public organizations. In this emanates basic information related to risk assessment and other occupational safety and health. The campaign will continue to provide construction of workers with knowledge and understanding of labor law and law on occupational safety and hygiene to provide training, counseling, and information on occupational health and primary care to secondary school students. To appreciate the dry risk event, there are plans to help ask competition among students for university and vocational schools. According to the statistic, until 12th of April, five forest and step fire calls were registered to the 101 hotline of the Emergency Management of Agency of Dormodamic. The majority of these calls were caused by people dumping their ashes openly. Now there have been 24 calls related to building objects and this number has been reported due to the burning of yellow grass according to the Emergency Management Agency of Dornot Province. Since the beginning of the year, five forest and step fire calls have been registered to the 101 of the Emergency Management Agency of Dornot Amok, the regional center. Forest and step fires are caused by human error or accident. Citizens should pay attention to this and put ashes in a special container or metal container with lead. There have been 24 calls for facility fires since the beginning of the year. At the same time last year, the same number of fire calls were recorded. The cause of the latest fire was burning of yellow grass or brittle grass. According to professional organizations, the drought is high. It is time for a thief. If you go to a river or a resort and light a fire, you should put it out again. Don't leave any garbage. And if you have finished smoking, you should put it out. Some of the forest and stiff fires are caused by cars and garbage that we throw away. Discarded glass can cause sunburn and fire, so waste, especially glass, should be carried. The Meteorological and Environment Research Center provides, provides a fire risk assessment based on the degree of droughts. As of 12th of April, fire risk in Bindom, Hosmbur, and Hasqot Yazatbag is metrate. Fire risk is high in Matat and Charles symptoms are hazardous, and the fire risk in the other sums is high or dangerous. According to the Darnotamex Hydrometeorological and Environmental Research Center, the entire territory of Darnotamex has reached the level of fire danger. Of these, Method and Chabasan Psalms are at high risk. If there is no precipitation during the day, the risk of fire is likely to increase. There is little precipitation than the average for April and many years. Rainfall is expected at the end of the second decade and end of the third decade. Release it daily on drought reports. 
provides information on social media. Therefore, we urge you to prevent forest and step fires. <laughs> Morang, a third grade the student of the first secondary school of Hertensum, introduced his migration art exhibition to his peers. He joined the brush drawing of art class in 2021 and is currently a student of Toktbayr. He has been taught art paintings from elementary to advanced level and he has a more than 50 works in the fields of painting, black and white anime and avant-garde paintings. At first, I didn't know I could draw. I started watching videos on YouTube and imitating them. I want to be an anime painter. I am very happy to see the picture. I want to thank my friends for always supporting me. In September 2021, Morung entered the elementary school of the Urumbir Drawing Club. He is currently studying in intensive sketch class now. Initially studying avant-garde painting, the child studied sketch drawing, pencil drawing, color drawing, anime, and manga in advanced stage called Nitramut. As a third grader, I'm glad he's learned to draw so well, reporting on everything he's learned and exhibiting. As a child, my son loved to draw. Since last year, according to his interests, went to the drawing club, he started to painting in a very short time. Today is my son's birthday. On his birthday, we are exhibiting our son's paintings. Thanks to the teacher talk buyer for helping my son draw so well in a, such a short time. In addition to drawing, my son attends a fiddle club. He likes music. He is one of the good students. I wish my son every success in his future achievements. <laughs> drawing is child's talent. By drawing, the child develops and uses skills he has learned in class. I'm happy that my classmates can imitate the ability and set a good example for them. In addition, the children were asked to draw and write review at home on their interests. During the first season break, Morung illustrated the main points of the book Immersive Reading. This skills which illustrated the beginning and what he understands have a positive effect on the community. Bemorum dreams of uh, becoming an anime artist. He is presenting his painting exhibition, My Creation, to the teachers, staff, and the students of the school for 11 to 13 days in the music class of the primary school. Today, some people were awarded to high stage awards and medals of Mongolia for their valuable contribution to the development of their local areas. Colonel Narmanda, the head of the Regional Emergency Management of Agency, was awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Military. Behtur a guard of uh, 832 branch of uh, the Regional Emergency Management Agency was awarded with the Medal of Labor Honor. Commander of Border Trip 0132, Colonel Baltbator, was awarded the Order of Military and he was also awarded the title of Chief Justice. The Alton Shagai, a rescuer of the Regional Emergency Management of uh, Agency, was awarded the Justice Medal. Thank you. I'm very happy to receive the highest state order, the Order of Military Merit. I have been working for the Border Guard for 20 years, worked in eight places. I think this award was given to me by a Border Guard. I wish our Border Guards good health and happiness. 
My name is Zurich In 2012, I was working in the search and rescue unit of the Emergency Management Agency of Darna Demok. During my tenure, I went to peacekeeping activity in 2019 to 2020. Today, I am very happy to be awarded the Medal of Justice. I would like to wish all the staff who worked with me during this time the best of luck in their future endeavors. Thank you. It has been 26 years since I was first hired as a firefighter and deputy chief in 1996. During this time, I have held positions ranging from firefighter to head department, from deputy chief to colonel. I am glad that I was awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Labor by the President of Mongolia in recognition of my work during this period. We are very grateful to local authorities who have always cooperated and supported us, as well as to the members of the AMEX Special Commissions, the state military and government agencies, organizations with special functions. I think this award is for me to work harder and also kindergarten four with El Togo pre Preschool's director, kindergarten number seven with the Penanselma Preschool director, kindergarten number nine with the Te Dilgirma Preschool director, and Dorningach LLC were awarded as the AMX leading team in 2021, who has successfully implemented governmental and local policies and decisions and led the way in preschool education. Our company has been operating in the construction industry for 18 years. During the COVID pandemic in recent years, our company has completed the construction of a culture center in Bayangol Som with the state budget funds. Two employment contracts have been signed with the state budget and the work is ready to start. I understand that award is given to all of us in recognition of the efforts of our team. We would like to express our gratitude to the Buying Awesome Governor's Office, the staff of the Buying Awesome Cultural Center, and the staff of our company for their cooperation. In the end, I'm very happy for my parents who founded the Darning Watch Company. <laughs> In 2021, our team initiated many activities to support early childhood development. Thank you very much to the governor's office and the AMA governor for appreciating the work of our team and selecting us as the best team in 2021. In the future, we are ready to support the development of young children. <laughs> The President of Mongolia would like to sincerely congratulate all the civil servants who have been awarded the highest state awards, decorations, and medals by the decree of the President of Mongolia, as well as the citizens and civil servants of Darnatamuk who have been awarded the Amok Leaders Award. It is good to see all the, you have worked hard in the fast for your community out for your community well-being and for your children's education. I'm proud of you. I hope that in the future we will work harder for our people and our country. Congratulations. <laughs>